Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Thursday night, September 14, 2023. It's about 10.20 p.m. California time. Latest activity looks like a 1.7 into the area of California. Uh, also, uh, 3.2 coming into the seismograph stations currently. See that at the Hot Caves station. That is from an earthquake there on the big island of Hawaii. Off of the, uh, away from the Kilauea volcano, this is more associated with the Pahala activity down there, about 30 kilometers or so. This has been uh, an ongoing swarm for many, many years. I think they started studying this back in the 60s. It's got a lot to do with the, uh, the hot spot out here across the Pacific Plate. Uh, but yeah, this swarming, it's almost a continuous event. Uh, and again, it's been studied since about the 60s or so. Uh, and that's the latest earthquake up there on the map. Let's go ahead and see what else we got out here. Um, we've seen a little bit of movement up here into the California or the uh, Cascadia subduction zone area. Now USGS not picking up on anything of that. Um, and there, it looks like there's a pretty good swarm of activity up here across the northern edge of the Cascadia subduction zone. Now, I want to double check the Earthquakes Canada real quick. Let me see if I have them pulled up. Um, there they are. Stand by for a second. See what they have on their map because it's kind of a, it looks like a pretty significant swarm of activity here. Let me bring up the plate boundaries. Um, this again is off the uh, Queen Charlotte Sound area. It's going to be right here into the Canada region, states down here. Now the Cascadia subduction zone sits in this blue line here right over the hand area. Uh, this plate boundary off to the west is the Pacific plate boundary along with the Juan de Fuca plate, uh, which of course is being subducted underneath the North American plate here. So it's not right smack dab on the Cascadia subduction zone, but it is in an area uh, where it's seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity and that can't be good. Uh, that's a bunch of movement here uh, through the last 24 hours now. Um, I think the largest that we've seen in that sequence of earthquakes there, I believe it was uh, 4.2 or so. Let me see what those magnitudes are. Uh, yeah, 4.2. Quite a few fours in there. And of course, uh, there's you know there's a handful of uh, twos and threes in that mix as well. Again, just kind of watching that. We also did see some movement here into the Alaska region earlier. Let me pull up that uh, movement here real quick. Uh, looks like some of that activity there into the Cook uh, Inlet area of Alaska, 4.0 earlier this afternoon somewhat deep 103 kilometers deep haven't really seen anything major going on across the western pacific that's been our quiet zone for the most part we did see a handful of smaller quakes some twos and threes out here across the in, uh, indonesia islands area a uh, couple earthquakes into the papua new guinea region 5.6 and a 5.0 but that's it still waiting for some action out here it's been quiet here for almost two days now very odd for this area to go so quiet uh seeing some movement down here across the south sandwich islands area 5.1 and a 5.1 roughly uh down here across the southern end of the subduction zone atlantic ocean looks pretty calm and clear not a whole lot going on out there here's some divergent boundary activity out here across the uh, southeast of the easter island got a 5.6 and a 4.9 out here around the chili fracture zone in the oceanic crust uh, also some movement here across the Peru Chile Trench and uh, some activity further up north along the uh, Colombia and Trench area. Puerto Rico pretty quiet. One earthquake down here or up here in Mexico. That's a 4.0. Uh, let's see what else we got. Texas did see some movement earlier this morning here. A 4.0. That's getting up there for size. Uh, th that's meaning that there is quite a bit of strain out here across the North American continent when we see these oil fields getting hit. And we'll just zoom in here real quick just to verify the oil fields in the vicinity of this 4.0 near Falls City, Texas. Notice all these little checkered patterns out here. And uh, some wastewater disposal facilities at hand, at hand as well. Uh, but yeah, this is a massive oil field out here in this area of Texas. And uh, yeah. No-brainer. Quite a bit going on out there. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Anything going on in Yellowstone? Let me check here real quick, the Yellowstone overview. I don't know if I like my new little color theme up here. I wanted to go with something a little bright, but this might just be a little too bright. <laughs> I want to see how it goes. All right, 
So earthquake activity ramping up here in the last couple hours or so. It looks like we're getting a swarm of activity here around Mary Lake. Um, notice these earthquakes here showing up across a broad area of Yellowstone National Park. Now the USGS really not picking up on it. Uh, this earthquake activity over here is not of the stuff that we're seeing uh, right now. This activity here, uh, west, well west here in Idaho, is from much earlier this morning. This activity right now, uh, in the last few hours, they have not picked up on it yet. I don't think anything's above 2.5. If it was, it'd show up on the USGS map, so hopefully they get to this uh, sometime tomorrow. But either way, slight uptick here across Yellowstone National Park. Uh, showing up there on the seismograph stations uh, through the Pacific Northwest. Still got Mount St. Helens out here rocking and rolling, but not volcanic activity, just some uh, earthquake activity here with a total tally. Let's go ahead and check this out. Um, and this might just be a rough estimate. Uh, I don't think they're including all the earthquakes that have taken place up here at Mount St. Helens. Uh, about 151 earthquakes or so of various magnitudes there at Mount St. Helens, and that's quite a bit. Um, all right, let's see what else we got here across the region. Northern California, pretty quiet. And, and again, uh, with this activity up here across the northern edge of the Cascadia subduction zone, definitely got to watch this region pretty closely. Uh, so let's see what we got for trimmer tonight. Uh, the yellow's kind of messing with my eyes here a little bit. <laughs> Bright yellow. There we go. That's perfect. Perfect theme. Uh, a little bit of movement here in Northern California. This is somewhat elevated. 302 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia and Oregon as well. So we know we got some strain building up out here. Otherwise, we wouldn't have that uh, trimmer activity occurring. The trimmer is uh, basically a slow slip event type of earthquake. Um, I don't like using the term earthquake because it's not really an earthquake. This is just slow vibrational um, rubbing, if you will, between the two plates. Uh, in this case, you know, again, the North American plate and you got the Juan de Fuca plate over here to the west being subducted. And um, the only thing that would create that is strain out here across the uh, area. So we'll just kind of watch that with that movement happening up north here off the Queen Charlotte Sound and uh, elevated trimmer activity. Keep an eye on the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, the rest of California here, very spotty across northern Cal. Uh, I don't think we got anything major going on in Southern California. Nothing unusual. Not seeing any uh, major swarms. Got one earthquake here in the Los Angeles jungle here. 1.1 near Willowbrook, California. That was earlier this morning. So we'll keep an eye on thing, uh, things, folks, and uh, see how it plays out. By the way, real quick, the member drawing is being held tomorrow. So if you want to be in that fishbowl tomorrow, got to get in. Be a member here on this channel. We do it on the 15th every month. And also, I got... A, su a surprise coming up here uh, included with that member drawing uh, I'm not going to say what it is but it's pretty darn important and uh, hopefully you guys don't miss it uh, but I will be covering the uh, potential uh, activity revolving around this channel uh, tomorrow all right there's the activity down in the South Sandwich Trench uh, yeah we'll just see how the night goes tonight Take a look at the live seismograph stations here. A little bit of movement kicking up in Southern California. Looks like a spike about ready to kick up here. Uh, there's a little movement there in Yellowstone as well. So a couple areas of interest. We'll continue to watch overnight. There's a radio blackout, data blackout here from the moon eclipsing the sun. It happens every 24 hours and then we just happen to kick. We happen to pick the right time. Um, far as flaring activity goes, this has been popping a little bit crackling here with m flares and that's uh from a, a couple different sunspots um let's see what we got uh the latest imagery here does show this system right here right smack dab pointing right at us getting fairly complex uh when things like that pop up here makes me think that this thing might be getting ready to spark off a rather large flare so we'll keep an eye on this one it's pointing right at us you can't really get any more direct than that so if anything does blast off from here oh you can bet it's going to be earth directed i don't think we i mean we got our magnetic shield right but uh yeah and um a couple other sunspots here around the western limb let me see if we got the um it's hard to tell when it's blacked out here i guess we're not going to really see any data here's some of the uv filter this is a couple hours old is it not let me see five no it's pretty recent 
So we got this flare right here, this uh, sunspot region producing a little bit of flaring. Uh, we got to watch that. I wouldn't be surprised if we do see some uh, flaring overnight. Right now, the uh, threat level, 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 40, and the X flare probability at 5%. No major, major auroras in the forecast. Maybe a potential G1 class storm on the 17th. That is due to uh, a little bit of CME activity here. Oh, in the last day or so. Um, I believe it was from this spot here. So it looks like maybe might get a glancing blow. This was from a, a, a you know, sunspot that was on the western limb. So it's not going to be directly uh, earth, you know, earth directed. But uh, still, again, could get a little glancing hit from that uh, CME on the 17th. But, of course, we'll continue to monitor that. Uh, what's the latest information here on Lee? Anything going on with Lee? Well, it's taking the uh, expected path. Uh, it looks like there is still... Um, see what we got for the warnings up here. Tropical storm warnings, maybe some hurricane warning watches here. Hurricane watches in the pink. Tropical storm warning in the blue. Uh, covers a good portion out here of the states up here in the northeast, Maine. Uh, heading over to Nova Scotia here. We'll probably get some re uh, remnants of that. But yeah, 85 mile per hour sustained wind. So it is weakening. Uh, but it is a uh, it's a massive uh, hurricane. Let me show you guys here the uh, the, the width of it. As far as like the uh, area, general area of circulation is just huge. Um, there's one of the current images right here. Let's uh, bring up Go's site here. Go's uh, 16 will work. Let's see what we got here from this area. I do want to check out. Uh, let's see if this, this is going to cover it or not. Uh, just barely. Let me go back here. Forgot. It's a little bit further up north. There it is. Uh, let's check out the animation loop here. Let's see what we got. Look at that. A beautiful system, but again, look at this upper level winds just shearing it apart. Uh, there's the area of circulation a little bit lower there to the uh, surface of the ocean. Still got some warmer waters out there, so uh, it's going to try to hold on the best that it can. But uh, tropical storm expected uh, here in the coming days once it gets closer to the uh, uh, to the area around Maine and up in this region. So just a heads up. All right, uh, let's see. Got anything major going on here as far as the... Uh, the um forecast goes let me bring up the assemble man we hit 103 today here in california northern california this high pressure system was cooking us i am not a big fan of that uh i want fall weather and i think it's coming i was looking at this earlier and there's a little pattern change out here for the uh west coast roughly look at that deep troughing going on out here for northern california northward uh around the um well, it kicks up, it looks like, maybe on the 22nd or so of this month, under 10 days. But that's going to bring bring some cooler weather and um, hopefully a shot of some rain. Most of the time when we got troughing over here along the West Coast, that builds high pressure out here. And goodness, does it build high pressure up here? It's going to cook. That's some, um, some really high pressure systems up there. Creating some above average temperatures, I'm sure, but hey. Let me see what we got for rainfall. Um, let's see if we got anything. Total accumulated precipitation here. Now, this is, of course, there's Hurricane Lee, the path. Let's see. It looks like we might get some light showers out here around Northern California. It's starting to fill in a little bit. I like that. Uh, obviously, the brunt of the moisture is going to be up in Washington and Oregon. Uh, but I'll take that. I, I will take some cooler temperatures with chances of rain. This is actually a whole lot of uh, rainfall up here on the map. Certain areas not getting it. Uh, but yeah, all right. Again, tomorrow, folks, um, we'll be doing the drawing for the member drawing here. Uh, if you are not a mem member, I would ask that you guys join in. Uh, it's not overly expensive. Plus, you get uh, benefits, including extra perks, extra videos there, member-only videos. And monthly drawings that we do, obviously, every single 15th of the month. Been doing it well over a year now. Uh, we'll be giving away uh, either a $50 Visa or MasterCard or gift card. Or if you want an Earthmaster t-shirt. Uh, or if you want like some type of geology mining kit. We have that up for grabs as well. And of course, a special uh, announcement coming up 
uh, regarding this channel. Uh, we'll do that at the end of the drawing tomorrow. Pretty important, so don't miss it. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Stay safe, everyone.